Hello everybody. I am Ashok Sen and today we are going to talk about picklist administration. Okay? So, what are the picklist? Picklist kya hota hai? Picklist means ke apne ek list di gayi ho, usme se apne koi ek cheez pick karte, right? Now, in Salesforce there are three type of picklist. Standard, custom and custom multi select. First of all, what are the standard pick list right so standard pick list are the ones that are included in your salesforce organization before any customization examples include the lead source pick list on the lead object and opportunity stage pick list on the opportunity object and others standard pick list fields sometimes shares a standard value set for example on lead object the lead source pick list value are a part of standard value set the same the same values are also used on the object account object for account source pick list so what does it mean is that the pick list which are pre given to you or which are already present in your organization are called standard pick list right before you do any modification or custom customization the field which are the pick list field which you have are called the standard pick list right now uh, it has given some example like like lead source or opportunity the stages of opportunity right now it says that pick list uh, standard pick list field sometimes share a standard value set right what does it mean is like two object can share one pick list type like the lead source in lead and it also uses in account also as a account source right it has same pick pick list field and values but it uses in two different accounts or in two di different object i mean right now what does it says when you change a value from that set in lead source pick list setting the changes also appears in the account source pick list field values right it's obviously that when two object are sharing one pick list or one field if you modify that field it will be or it will gonna reflect on both object right for more flexibility you need to build a custom pick list field okay so if you want more flexibility you have to create a custom pick list field right so now we will gonna see like what are the standard field by seeing in there or okay so i think i'll gonna open this object fields this are my the org just loading just give it a minute okay so here i just gonna click on field and relationship uh, this object i have created okay so it will not reflect here we are gonna see account source as a standard okay we'll see it how does standard look like now i'm talking about this okay okay there we go in a account object fields and relationships and can we see any pick list here yeah there, there we go this pick list the account source now just gonna click on okay first of all just gonna click on it and see what does it have values and all okay account source pick list this is a standard pick list right we haven't created this this was pre-created by this system so if i want to see you in this we can see in this also like when i click on new account source as well as the rating also is a standard right now we just have to see account source ok 
okay I can't see that field here Consoles. okay so let me take others like a rating we have your rating uh, we have in industry they all are standard pick list like type okay we haven't created them and in there there is no initial that like underscore underscore c okay so they are standard fields uh, i mean standard pick list value now we're gonna see some custom okay so i think you got it right what are the standard pick list field now we're gonna move on custom so custom pick list are the ones you create you can add your own values and configure a custom pick list behavior as you create a new custom field select pick list as a field type right if, if you want to create your own pick list which are called custom then you wanna select field type as a pick list okay so I'll gonna create one in my student object I think I have created but we'll gonna create once more like what we have first of all I just wanna see okay mm -hmm. division is a custom pick list okay so what can I add here mm -hmm. let me add a field named hobby okay and we will gonna give uh, we will gonna create as a custom pick list cool okay then we go to student object and new to create a custom pick list field we have to select pick list not multi select only single pick list as it say allows users to select a value from a list you define right and in multi select allows users to select multiple values from a list you define but right now we just gonna make a pick list for just one value only so we will gonna click next and we are gonna name it okay we will gonna name it as a hobby and we right now we don't have any global pick list value we will gonna talk about that later but right now we just gonna enter values okay so what are the values so in i'm gonna write playing cricket okay mm, singing uh, tracking mm. what are the other hobby we can add like singing okay swimming whoa, 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 whoa. sorry okay. swimming okay now you can see there there are amples of option here right downside so we're gonna see what are those right fill label are the name of that pick list field values are the values which we will give okay so i have given it four values and it has says that display values alphabetically not in order enter right what does it mean that if i want the values of pick list in alph alphabetic order not in the order which i have given it like i have given p s t and s right so what does it take it it will gonna if, if i check on it 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 will gonna change this order from playing cricket uh, singing swimming and tracking okay now it has next option we have use first value as a default value what does it mean i'll gonna click uh, i'll gonna hover my mouse on i if you entered a valid default value for formula it will override this setting 
so what does it mean that what whatever the first value it will gonna take it as a default value if user don't select that's what does it mean right and next we have a restrict pick list to the values defined in a value set right so we're gonna hover my mouse to this i and force data integrity with restricted pick list this setting limits the field to accept only values from your pick list even if the field is updated through api so what does it mean that if i check box this right the third option what does it do that even if someone try to create or modify this pick list they will not be successful because i have restricted this pick list right i just want this four value only i don't want any modification in this so when i checkbox this then no one can modify another than me i have the power to modify that right and if i don't want to bound this type of things then i'll just gonna uncheck it but i want this right now so i'll gonna check it okay okay required so if you want to like make this field as a required then you can make it right and we have formula editor if you want to make a pick list like deep dependent pick list like if someone has selected this option then this pick list value should be automatically selected at that time this formula editor works right but right now we, we don't need that type of thing right now we just created a simple pick list so you bet better understand okay we're just gonna click on next next okay internet is working fine then what happened i'm sorry guys i don't know something is not fine here i'm selecting next but it's just not going anywhere let me reload this page I think there are net issue ok it's not loading also ok so just give me a minute I'll just gonna make some changes ok I hope now it's working Another side is working, but not Salesforce. Okay, the side can't be rich. My internet is going working fine. I mean, there is nothing to do with internet also right now. See, internet is working fine. I think something went wrong with my org. Well, let me refresh this page. No. They both are not working. I think I have to pause this recording right now. Once it online, then I will gonna resume it. Okay. Okay. So yeah, it's working now. Okay, we gonna create again the whole process of pick list ok 
okay we just have to select with list here next I have to name it as a hobby it will give me okay I have copied the value okay and we just have to click next again next and save right we just have created one more pick pick list value custom pick list value I mean and we wanna reload this so okay we wanna click on new and we'll see that the field which we have created are here or not yeah we can see here right hobby now in custom field what happened we can select one field right from this four we can't select multiple as it's just a simple custom pick list so see even if I selected some other value it will gonna selected only one only so that's what we call as a custom pick list field okay great now okay one more thing we just have to see is the order okay uh, the order of the values are the same as I have written in the pick list field because I have a checkbox that first first option that rearrange as per alphabetic right so if I do check that thing then it will be like playing cricket singing swimming and then tracking right great now we're gonna see multi select the third option custom multi select pick list now pick this option if you want your user to select more than one values from pick list when a user picks more than one values the selected value shows in the field separated by semicolon right now we will gonna create a multi select pick list okay again we have to go in field but before that I have to just change the page layout because I have to scroll down to bottom side okay now you you will think like what is this right but yeah you will learn it in future so let me rearrange this whole thing okay favorite I just have to move here Okay. Now here, yeah, okay. Then I have to take hobby also. I want to hover here, okay. I think good now I'm just gonna save it this is the page layout uh, the way we want our field on a page like we can edit or rearrange or order wise our field here so this is called page layout okay now we're gonna create new pick list uh, we're gonna create multi select pick list value right so just gonna click on it next okay we're gonna hobby but right now we're gonna select multiple hobby so multi select okay i think i have to okay great okay multi sorry the mistake my keyboard okay let me make this bold so it will look nice okay multi select hobby okay now again okay I'll write again the same thing playing cricket next what we have written here 
singing tracking not again I don't know what happened okay. tracking and swimming right okay now I'm gonna select this display value al alphabetic and not in ordered enter okay Vis visible line should be four field name should be this and now we're gonna select next okay next and save right now we're gonna go here and refresh it I'm gonna click on new and I'm gonna okay it hasn't come here the page layout which I have selected and haven't even my new field value has come here. so I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna see now is it updated or not okay it's not updated yet okay, so let me go here let me see if I have okay the multi selected value is here do I have to do with anything with page layout or what okay previous no I just don't want quick save save okay I think it should be ref reflect here till now I don't know what happened here okay we we'll just gonna click on new it's not reflecting also okay click on normal okay it's ref reflecting in uh, existing records but not in new when I create on new it's not showing here but right now I can see here a field multi select right okay let me do something I just hover to another thing and then I'll just gonna move to my custom object and we'll see if it's coming or not Okay, it's not coming. Okay, from here, I have to go to sales. Okay, one one minute, guys. Just give me a minute. Students, new. Okay. Here I can see my page layout changes page layout and this multi select right we can see here field which we, we just created custom multi select pick list right now in hobby I can select only one as a singing or whatever but in this I can select playing cricket swimming and tracking also right now what what I want to you is that see in hobby the order are playing cricket singing tracking and swimming right but in multi select there are playing singing swimming and tracking because in this field we have selected ordered by alf alphabetic right so that's why the change is in list now we're gonna select some name here the okay and we're gonna select hobby as a tracking and in this as a singing swimming I mean playing cricket swimming singing and no no tracking okay okay we just have to select a class this is this is just a demo that that's why I'm not filling all field okay it's named Preeti and now you can see here there's a comma semicolon here which separate the op option here in hobby I just selected one because that's what we call as a simple picklist value in 
multi select quickly show you I can select three values separated by semicolon right so that's what we call as a pick list value now I have created one chart here um, like I just have so I uh, internet I have just paste here so yeah add and remove from page layout standard pick list years custom years and multi select also years delete from your or organization right now as we haven't created standard pick list like they are given by the system we have no authority to delete that also right custom and multi select are deleted by us like we have power but on standard no we, we can't delete that set a default value yeah we can make uh, we can set a default value in all uh, type of pick list use a formula for default value right in standard we can't use that type of func functionality but in custom and multi select we can can select mul multiple values in standard pick list we can't in custom pick list we can't but in multi select we can because that's what work it has like custom multi select pick list so we can select multiple values now can add values via ap uh, apps or api yeah in all three it's supported can be restricted uh, in standard we can't but in custom we can can be a dip dependent pick list uh, standard can't be but custom can be that's what like custom use for if uh, if you want if you want to have more functionality then you can create your own custom pick list values okay now manage your pick list values like we can create new uh, create a new field reorder rearrange replace from existing printable view see all your values at once chart color customize the ap appearance of values on chart and reports okay we will gonna see it Okay, I'm gonna edit object. Okay. Now I'm gonna go in this field. And I'll just gonna okay. Let me select hobby only first of all right now. Okay. see manage your pick list value the option which are given here now we can see here this new reorder replace printable view chart color these are the option here we, we can do all those kind of operations here we can edit delete deactivate if you don't want like some val values from the pick list but you know that it will be it will gonna use in future so you will not de delete it you will gonna deactivate it so in future if you need it you can activate it and it will up appear on your pick list values okay now see now we don't don't have any inactivate values so it will be no activate values defined yeah it, it, it will be not so yeah now let's see pick list value now we're gonna see one more things here it's called as a global pick list so i will gonna write here pick list not link okay and we're gonna go in pick list value sets okay see what are the global fields right you you you, you will be thinking like right, what are the global pick, pick list values so in global value set we can uh, create a pick list which will which we gonna use anywhere 
what I mean is that if I have two or three object where I need a same pick, pick list value and field so I can create a one global field here which I can use in those fields with just clickable on pick list value so we're gonna create here one okay so what we're gonna create for global okay we're gonna just create one thing as a I really don't know like okay just take 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 it as a example here or let me think about it like what can we create here okay so I'll gonna del delete those fields from my hobby and multi select hobby and I'll just gonna create one hobby as a global set okay so I'm gonna show you how does that work okay hobby I don't require it but it will gonna okay it is deleted and I don't require multi select also right now okay nice I'm gonna go in this and I'm just gonna write as hobby because I want to create a hobby as a global value set right now values so separated by now it just say the enter values with each value separated by a new line right so I'm gonna save uh, like a uh, plain cricket okay singing tracking and swimming right so, okay just sorry swimming and these are the option you are familiar with so I'll just gonna select save okay you you having there also option those same new reorder replace print printable chart color you can see by yourself this all option okay so we're gonna see what does this work the global value set so I'll just gonna click on student I'll gonna refresh it once so my global value set can fetch here now what this global value use for like if you don't want to write the same pick list values and fill again and again in another object so you, you can just create it one global values and it will just gonna give you an option that you can select it from okay so I'll just gonna click on pick list value next I'm just gonna click it hobby and it just says use global pick list value set and I'll just say yes and as a hobby okay so I haven't entered any values here I just selected one global pick list value which I have just created and in global value we can't be like we can't edit it from here okay we can't do anything like display or all those options we can't be checkable from here so we're just gonna select next next and save now I'll just gonna reload it I'll gonna see if I fetch or not okay so students okay new okay so the field which we have created and set here bottom to physics or down to physics are removed as we have deleted both of that those field and we have created an another field from global value set right a hobby which are here right we just have sil sil selected from global value set right now we haven't created those this from fields and uh, like from object right we have created this uh, pick list value separate in a global value set same way you can create more global value set if you need it or you can simply go to object and create your pick list value okay so these are the things like pick list 
there are three type of pick list values standard custom custom pick list and we, we can save one more as a global value set so yeah we are done for today thank you so much and we will gonna see next topic in our next class okay take care and subscribe to our channel thank you so much